Hello all, Sirius Lee is here, back again for more finishing permadeath, and we're going to do a part two, because I figured it out. I think I figured it out. We're going to make sure that I figured it out. If not, I'm just going to stop the video, and <laughs> that'll be that. Uh, it turns out that you didn't need range, you didn't need upgraded range to get to this uh, destination. The thing that I was missing is the ability to go to different colored stars. Now, I don't know which color the galactic center of Isentam counts as because I can't pick it and I can't actually get there. But apparently galactic centers have colors. They're not all yellow stars. Apparently Isentam, or maybe it's the destination on the other side that it's sending me to. I don't know, but I'm just going to install the drive that lets me get to blue stars, which lets me get to green and red stars as well. So this should let me get to all of them. In theory. All right, let's make an autosave one more time. Let's make sure that I'm on the correct multi-tool. I am. Okay, still there. Um, all this stuff's going to bust. That's a shame. Darn tootin' shame. Uh, but hopefully this is going to bust. I want to make sure that this was in the correct spot. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Pretty sure it had nothing to do with that. Okay, pulse engine. Why is this here? Oh, that was extra that I don't need from this one, or something. Anyway, we're done. We made an autosave. Let's test this puppy out. Let's get to the next galaxy. Yeah, apparently any of those star systems that it was sending me to would have worked if I had just installed this module. All right, let's do a warp. Let's target the galactic core. Let's scroll so that I'm fit. It doesn't have to be directly on the line. As long as it highlights white like that or light yellow, it will work. Let's hold this down. I didn't check my fuel tank. There, it worked. It worked. Must have been a full tank. I tried quite a few things. I tried uh, filling my pulse drive as well. I tried installing uh, all six hyperdrive modules, uh, the, the S class ones so that I had like 2,000 light years <laughs> of range I could go uh, no it wasn't quite that much it was like 1500 or something like that um, yeah and fortunately I didn't make a new autosave and, and have all that stuff installed but I did figure it out with that stuff installed so I had to do a reload and I figured why not show this again We'll go through the cutscene and we'll show the repair process. I mean, we've done that once, way back at the beginning of, um, I don't know if it was at the beginning of finishing Permadeath or at the end of playing Permadeath, but, or Let's Play, Permadeath Let's Play, I think I called it back then. Here we are skipping galaxies again, but this time we did it the more direct way by getting to a core and going through the core instead of having the atlas send us to the 10th galaxy. There we are, rotating away from Isentown. Thought we have the stars fade out for a second. I'm sure that's just the game loading. And looks like we're still rotating, but I saw those stars disappear completely. <laughs> Here we go. New galaxy discovered. El Cupalos. El, El Cupalos. Yeah, sure. Whatever. <laughs> Doesn't matter. We're only here to break our photon cannon. And then we're headed straight back. So let's make sure that the photon cannon is broken. Now, something that might also happen is that your launch thrusters break, even if they are in your technology slots, because I don't think you're going to be able to summon your ship to you. But I should be able to summon any other ship to me. Yeah, I'm taking uh, damage. All right, let's fix some stuff. Sure, whatever. Uh, yeah, the problem with me putting this here <laughs> was that I have no hazard protection now. There we go. We're good. We're losing damage fast, though, so let's see if we can call the ship in. Whoops, wrong button. 
We can. Good. The launch sensors are protected. Uh, let's take a look. Oh, the photon cannon is broken. This is promising. We're making some progress here, finally, in the plan. Let's take off. Oh, and the phase beam is automatically selected. This is brilliant. So for the cost of a single slot, because I can't move this now. I can repair it, but I can't move it. Uh, so f I have to leave it there forever. But my phase beam is going to be my main weapon. That's great. That works. I don't want to visit my old friends. Although, you know what? That is a good way to get back to Isentown. So let's visit some old friends. Well, let's go to the home of some old friends. Let's not actually visit with them. All right, so it's very important to be able to get into your ship really fast if you're doing something silly, like going through a galactic core with all of your actual modules, like your jetpack module. Um, actually, my jetpack module's over here, fortunately, the actual module jetpack. Uh, when these break, life support, that would have been bad. I should definitely not have had life support over there. Uh, jetpack, then you wouldn't be able to use it at all, right? If you just lose the bonuses, you just lose the bonuses. Who who cares if you lose your rocket boots or your um, S-Class modules? Hey, we're not, we're not going to visit with, it says to, visit my old friends. No, thank you. <laughs> Ignored. Fortunately, our rocket boots seem to be in the technology slots as well, <laughs> so they're not broken. All right, uh, my bases? No, let's go to space stations. Let's go to... See, now, by not going to the space station here and not setting a base here, I'll have to do this all over again if I want to get back here. But I'm okay with that. <laughs> I don't really... Do I want to capture this place? Do I? Nah, I'm not too interested in being in Eucalyptus, whatever it's called. <laughs> Space stations, let's go Isentam, Isentome, where, where are you at? Should be pretty close by, no? Did I, oh, that's right, I warped quite a bit recently. <laughs> um, but I was just there, hmm, weird. Okay, I'm back in the Euclid galaxy, where did my home go? None of these. Go down the screen. It's none of these. Those are in Euclid. What's going? To, what's going the heck on here? All right, let's go to my bases then. We'll just go to the base. <laughs> That's weird. That's very odd. I was definitely just in the space station very recently. Hmm. Maybe the game doesn't like that I'm trying to do something weird, like break my photon cannon. I think it's punishing me. But while we're here, I should be able to see a current system on the teleporter list. And I'll just activate uh, my base terminus behind me right there. Let's see if I can find the space station for this system. Yeah, it's not in my list. Unless it somehow got put below Isentown. Oh, uh, sorry, Euclid. Yeah, what it what uh what the heck? None of these say current system. It's not down at the bottom. Okay, well what we're gonna do then is we're gonna fly up to it and we're gonna get that back in the list. That's that's important to me, is that this space station for this system is in my teleporter list. I do not know why it would disappear instead of one of the older Euclid ones. Very odd. I 
mean, it's right there. I've been here lots of times. I'm here all of the times. I often warp back to this space station instead of my base, just so I can check the merchants and fly down to the base from the space station. Very weird. Well, we're gonna make an autosave here and that should put it into the list. And let's see where it is. I mean, we might not be able to see it from here. But maybe we can. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So we're, we were just here. We made an autosave in this space station. I hope I have not broken my game in some sort of way. It would be very unfortunate if I cannot warp back to the space station here. It's very helpful to be able to warp from your base to the space station you're in to buy materials that you don't have at your base. I don't want to have to fly up every single time. I'd like to be able to warp back and forth if I need to. Or want to. Hmm. Hmm. Oh well, let's see what happens. Sometimes turning it off and on again might help too. If I just quit the game out and see uh, see what's going down, maybe that'll help. But we won't focus too much more on this. Space stations. Okay, there it is. It's back in the list. Brand new, apparently. That's super weird. Hmm. Yep, still got Euclid stuff down there. All right, well, it's back. I'm happy with that. Uh, now, what we got to do <laughs> is fly up to the freighter, which isn't even here. Well, nuts. I guess what we could do is make an autosave now that we got the space station back and call it in. Uh, no, not vehicles. Summon freighter. Yeah, well, it, it's a vehicle. We'll summon it right over there, facing the base. Makes it nice and close to fly to. Can't get it this low to the atmosphere by summoning it from space, so definitely going to summon it from the planet. By the time I'm in orbit, I'm already way above the freighter, see that? Okay, we didn't actually need to go on to the freighter to do all this, but why not? Let's get it back home, into the home system. After all that warping around using it. Maybe that's what broke it from the list. I don't know, that's weird that I lost my space station. Worrisome and weird. Anyway, we're here, restore point saved. Let's start repairing stuff, except for that. Yeah, all right. Refiner. Shields. Yeah, it looks like I can get all this stuff. Good. Didn't go underwater recently, but uh, let's get these repaired for next time I need to. I did find that water planet, but I'm going to put the Nautilon uh, station on, so... Maybe we'll do a partial underwater base there. An above and below water base. I'm glad I'm carrying all this stuff. Well, uh, most of it at least. We'll, we'll see how it goes. There's no guarantee I've got everything that I need. or enough of everything I need. Lots to repair though. And it looks like I'm gonna need to find another multi-tool because I don't want a broken one. Ah, I'm out of those, okay. Um, oh, you know what? Wait a minute, it says I have a microprocessor. 
Oh, it's on the freighter and I can't pull it from the freighter? I'm on the freighter. Whatever, whatever, whatever. I need a Heart of the Sun to repair this thing? Well, that's annoying. <laughs> Whoops. Shouldn't have done that. Maybe we'll just leave that broken for a minute. <laughs> that's really annoying. Living Pearl I have. How many did I need? Three. Okay, I don't have three. We're going to need to go underwater. Good thing I could repair that stuff. Okay, this is getting annoying. I've got this stuff right here. Um, no, this is the button I want. That. I didn't need any of that stuff. I needed one of these. Yeah, no, it wasn't this one. It was this. There we go. There, the jetpack's functioning perfectly again. Okay, how many? Just the one. I've got that. I've got that. What was that for? Oh, for that part of the oxygen rerouter. Right, crystal sulfide for a water breathing thing. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, what did I need here? I've got that. I just missed that one, I guess. Okay. Exclamation marks left are here. I need a heart of the sun. I need a three crystal sulfide, one quantum computer. Uh, still need the crystal sulfide, though. So let's grab those. Boom. Repaired. And I need three living pearls that I don't have. And a heart of the sun. Can I make that? Send this back to... No, let's put those back on the ship. They go on. Heart of the sun. Heart of the sun. It's going to be down here somewhere. Okay, I've got the gold. I've got the indium, the emerald, cadmium. I don't have the copper. Let's grab that. Oof, I'm running pretty low on copper. Let's put a little bit back where it came from so I know where it goes. Um, all right, where were we? We have the copper. Yep. Chromatic metal I have. I, I need very little of this stuff. Okay, looks like I have everything I need. Let's just do the whole chain. Now these are going to be at the top of my list for forever now. <laughs> um, next is yellow, and then we're doing dark matter, something like that. It was green. Dark matter, yep. Dawn's end. Uh, nope, not I can make it a hydrogen, no big deal. Photonic jade, photic jade, not photonic. Don't put extra letters in there. Uh, state phaser. I think we're getting pretty close. Um, no, we, we've got several more. <laughs> Novi reclament. That's a word I've never heard before. Reclaimment. Reclament, I think. Modified quanta. Mm -hmm. And next is the thing we need. Excellent. Let's just actually do it this way. So we get the suit lady saying, component repaired. Oh, that's satisfying. Okay, so let's go get some living pearls. I don't think we can do that here, can we? Uh, it looks like there might be water. Should we go look for some water on that other planet here? Hmm. 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 Either way, I think we should take a faster ship. That one is not upgraded enough yet. And we can now upgrade it as much as we want. Maybe we'll get back into that tomorrow. We shall see. Um, where is the other planet? Over that way. What do you mean unsafe trajectories? They're all safe trajectories. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, that should be enough to see it. It's over there somewhere. There it is, right beside me. See if we can see any water from space. Oh my gosh, lots of water. I think that's fraudulent and the ground is going to spawn in soon. But it looks like we're headed fairly close to some water. So we just need a couple of living pearls to get ourselves all repaired up. Well, exactly as repaired up as we want to be. <laughs> we want that photon cannon to stay damaged. If we could move around damage technology, that would be even better. Or how about you just let us delete the darned photon cannon? I've been using it. It's the only weapon I use. I use the photon cannon. Let us delete it if we want. <laughs> Just have the requirement for deleting it be that there's already another weapon installed. I don't know. I guess the coding is too hard for that. Alright, Living Pearl. There's one right there. Convenient. Open up. Oh, the mining me. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, I forgot to do this part. Uh, no, not that one. That one. There we go. Give me your pearl. Thank you. Should be able to see them from a ways away because the time of day makes them glow, but let's just take a peek. Armor clam, armor clam. There's a, there's a bunch of clams over there. Okay. Let's shoot it from here too, just to make it open and close. <laughs> All right, I do want a bunch of pearls. So let's go. Oh, hey, there's two embedded on top of each other. I'm going to get snapped here. Yep. Oh, I got them both, though, didn't I? Well, I got snapped, and I got both. Excellent. Almost got snapped again. And the weird thing is you can get snapped when they're opening. I'm like, I don't think it would hurt that much or get knocked back that much. Okay, let's not drown. Let's make sure we don't drown. Oh, it's not letting us recharge our oxygen in here again. Okay, okay fine, fine. We've got that bug going on again, do we? Give me your, come on. Come. Okay, you know what? How do you like them apples? Well, I got your pearl anyway. Snap me or not. <laughs> and that's more than enough pearls. Let's get out of here. Let's head back to the ship. I guess if we see any more along the way, we could grab them, but, uh, or crystal sulfide. Uh, I, I'm not too, too keen on the Haddle cores right now. I get plenty of Haddle, if I want Haddle cores, I'm going to go do a derelict freighter and get tainted metal and stuff like that as well. Because why not get both? And I mean, I guess, what are we waiting for? Let's just repair this thing right now. I seem to think that it was working while <laughs> while we were there. Was it not working? Well, we've scanned that crabby guy. Cold crab. Alright, I think we are all repaired. Let's head back up to the freighter and take a once over. See how everything's doing. I don't know if we're targeted on the base. Yeah, it looks like the base. Oh well, that, they're pretty close together. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely targeted on the base. So let's switch. Probably too close to warp, ER, pulse, whatever. So let's just boost. And my bridge has stayed fairly consistently yellow all weekend long. That's very impressive to me. If only it could stay red all the time. <laughs> all right, so we have an autosave made, but we're gonna hop into this ship and fly to the space station because we wanna do more module re-rolling. Uh, I'm gonna do it off camera, like I said, but now that I have the cannon broken, why can't I pulse? 
Now that I have the photon cannon broken, I don't have to worry about installing technology in the main inventory and it breaking and having to be repaired when I do this, uh, what I just did. <laughs> Going through the galaxy to break a ship. Not to travel anywhere, but to actually break your ship on purpose. <laughs> One more use of galactic, intergalactic travel. Autosave made. Let's clean up the inventory a little teeny bit. Let's sell some of that stuff that we gathered up last time from this. We're going to save that tritium because tritium is precious. Should I wait for ships to come in? Now let's just go to the uh, trade terminal in the back room or the scrap merchant maybe. Can he buy stuff from the ship? Let's find out. Uh, purchase old scrap. Sell. Starship inventory, perfect. All the cadmium, thank you, sir. Might have wanted to keep some of that, but I'm going to be doing a lot of module rerolling, so I'm going to get lots. Um, wiring looms, sure, I've got lots of those. Chromatic metal, you know what? Let's just sell everything on the ship. Deuterium, I will keep because that's sort of hard to come by. I just spent a bunch of ion batteries so I can move those to my inventory. But that's that. Okay, let's do those things instead of just talking about them. Talk is cheap. Freighter, that goes here with the other deuterium. Uh, starship, batteries. Oh, they blend in really well, don't they? Uh, they go to the exosuit. High capacity. Bam. Good to go. Autosave made. So we're a few minutes short of a 30 minute one, but we're going to do a couple short episodes once in a while did uh one last week when i wasn't feeling too good that was a really short episode <laughs> uh but we do long episodes all the time so i don't feel too too bad about doing one short one we're gonna get this beautiful ship in ship shape and we're gonna come back when we have a fully upgraded hauler to uh kit out or show the kit out of and until then everyone have a good time <laughs>